I was seen as an outsider coming in to the reserve. I was an outsider everywhere. They call it the Red Road. When you start to learn about your indigenous culture. Sego Skano, Leila Black Young Gats, Anawara, Ni Wagi, Daroden, Ganyak Gehaga. I'm Ganyak Gehaga. I'm Mohawk. I am Mohawk. My papa always said, whoever has the clean water at the end, they're the ones that are going to thrive. Make sure that you figure out a way to get clean water. I'm looking at boil water advisories and I see every single one First Nations, First Nations, First Nations, First Nations. And I just hear my papa in my head saying, now's the time. Our people need clean water. My hope for this journey is to understand why this is happening, as well as to discover who I am as an Indigenous woman, finding that voice within myself. What are some of the challenges that you're facing? We've got bad water, and it's not safe to drink right now. Checking into the hotel, first thing that I saw was the boil water advisory. Don't get it in your eyes. Don't open your mouth in the shower. It's a reality check. How many generations has your family been drinking this water? I know of seven generations. Seven generations. Eight double loaders, and we got two of them running. We've got a problem with the flow of water in them. These people live with it every single day. We're in California, in the U.S., off the 101, you can go on either side and you can get clean water up and down, but, but here on the reserve, how is it that those guys don't have clean water? Help's not coming, never has. What's your position here? I'm the acting water supervisor. Who does all the testing? I do. How many people do you have working here? Currently two, we just got a new guy yesterday. This is where they dispose of the yeah. uranium? A lot of the Navajos that lived along it are now dead from cancer. That's why you don't hear about it. You don't want to tell us? You have to find out on your own. Water is not just a resource. We are not respecting it. We are not taking care of it. These things were told to me by the elders. Maybe in your time, you'll see this, you'll see that. I've been watching the earth and the vegetation and the birds, the insects. All of those things are telling me there are strange things happening. It's not like how it used to be. 